Hello everybody and welcome back to the Whitlings Prototype. This is episode number 38. Today we're going to be doing 2D line collision on our unprojected edges. So <clears throat> the first thing I want to do is I want to start debugging some stuff because last time we had some pretty goofy results. And I did uh, do a quick bit of research for drawing 2D lines in the UI. It's pretty simple. Um, so I'd like to do that first. Oh, we do have a line function. <laughs> I could put the debug draw inside of this line, but I think it would be more correct to put it inside of our debug touch input. And then we can just draw a line here. And this will, ooh, that's a prototype. I'm, I'm in like a serious commenting mode because of my engine but we'll just do simple stuff here. So let's see. The line should be in screen space coordinates. Let's do a line width as well. <laughs> Let's just make a game object from scratch, shall we? We'll call this debug line. And we'll set the parent to the debug point container. That's funny, this is a rect transform, so I don't need this dot transform here. RT form, Ugh. let's spell it out. It's not gonna hurt anybody. Oh, um, let's do a get component rect transform image. Add component image. We'll set the color here, and then here's where I need to check this bit. So we're going to get the magnitude and the line width for size delta. begin to end that doesn't seem right vector 2 So we've got our size delta, let's see, our pivot. This is a very strange pivot. I'm gonna keep it at 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and see what happens. Pfft. 
position equals begin. Really, not anchored position. That worries me. And then here comes the magic, arc tangent 2. Let's copy this. And the Y is going to be our delta vector X, I believe. Oh no. Quaternion Euler, yep. <clears throat> so let's test this out. I'll just hop into my cube controller and in awake, debug touch, draw line. Test line color dot yellow twenty. What? What? Constructor begin and end. Oh, <laughs> no wonder it was angry. Okay. What do you get from me, engine? Should see a line from this corner up. Debug line, no rec transform. K. I wasn't sure if parenting the debug line to the debug parent container would automatically give it the rect transform. It appears not. Hey, not bad. Perfect. So we've got our test line drawing. That is good. Where do we... So here are our edges. Current edge, edge. Let's draw the line here. Interesting. Really? Maybe that's why it was 0.0, .0 on the X. Aha! What do you have for me now? Hey, nice. Okay, not bad. This seems correct. 
Um, let's check our user drawn line. Unprojected center. Here's our swipe. And as debug touch, draw a line, swipe, color dot green, three. That looks pretty solid. Hmm. <laughs> so what's going wrong here? This overlap is never returning true. Oh, stealing code from yourself. Oh boy. Um, I need to replace all of these Z's. Control H Z with Y. Because in my previous game, what I was doing, I was doing a 2D dungeon on the XZ plane, right? So Y was looking down on the dungeon. But in this case, I'm actually using the XY plane of the screen. Maybe that will make it happy. Hard to tell. <laughs> We're getting average deltas. But this is never happening. Swipe overlaps. Cube eye edges collision. Let's try drawing collision instead of the edge. Because that's what we're testing against, right? That could be the source of the problem. There's some fly going crazy over there. Hey, nice. That's the problem. There is no collision? Really? Did I not do that? Edge. Oh, I'm just dumb. Hmm, I was hoping it was something a little bit cooler or easier to guess. Yep, those look right. Let's see, so if I go over for a long time and then up a little. Okay, so it's not actually drawing to the very tip. <clears throat> this is still the average swipe direction, so that makes me happy. These average deltas are super goofy. I really don't like the way that they are being displayed. I need more precision. Let's see. Unity change vector three print precision. Oh, 
want the real thing, print out X, Y, and Z separately. <sighs> oh, there's an overload. Some vec two string F4. Cool. Do, 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 where is this coming from? Average delta. I knew there was a way. This is almost C++ style. I like that. Let's try this out just to make sure. Wow, worst calculator in the history of calculators. 0.884 squared. We should get like 0.22. Hold on, I feel like that should have worked, but it's minusing the square root. It's not okay. Okay. I think that was my mistake, but I'd still like to blame it on Microsoft's calculator anyway. Plus 0.468 squared. Okay, so that is still, that's a normalized vector now. Our lines are drawing. Hmm, I don't think I need this average delta anymore. That's tested just fine. Travel distance, I'll keep that. Um, I want to find out what is the first line so I can debug this quickly. So I think what I'll do let's do um, I'll use debug line color. plus equals 50. So it should go from blackest is the first line up to a more red is the last line. <laughs> well, sure. Excellent, that's the first line. So I'll be drawing through this unprojected line here. I've been having some weird issues where Visual Studio will lie to me about the breakpoint will not currently be hit. It will be hit. Or at least it has been over the last few days whenever I tested. There we go. So what's our swipe look like? 517 to 595, that seems okay. These Z things are really killing me.
sees Let's test, let's try and zero out all of the Z coordinates. I think I tried that last time, but I only zeroed out. <laughs> Overlapped edge three, two, one. Oh, what if I go through here? Nothing. Oh, yeah, buddy. That's what I like to see. So, what do we got? We got our line collision now. Excellent. So, let's see. <laughs> Overlapped equals cube edges at I edge dot edge. And here we can do an early out. If Overlapped is equal to null. Return. And this fly is going nuts. I don't think I've seen a fly this big in San Francisco in years. Sounds like a small warplane. I'm going to have to do my best to ignore it. Okay. So I've got my early out. <clears throat> the next thing we need to do is calculate the direction of the center of the cube to the center of the line and then we want to throw away the y component and that will give us the direction that we want to turn Hey, I could put that into line, couldn't I? Get middle. Actually, I think I could just say um, this begin plus this end divided by two. Oh, we're in 2D space now, aren't we? I need to... I need to redo this a little bit. Where's my pen?
So we've got our cube. And our edge has two lines. It needs the 2D collision line. And it needs the 3D world line. Because we need this 3D world line to calculate in 3D space what direction this needs to turn. And we need our 2D collision line because of our unprojected 2D line testing. So we're going to have to go do some modifications. Where does Edge live? Oh, hey. Unprojected Cube Edge. Rename. Cube Edge. Line. World Position Edge. And then this is the unprojected collision edge. No, just un unprojected collision. Everything still work? Everything happy? Should be. Well, we don't need to call the z value anymore. See, I was, I was right with this. My original instinct was correct. I just didn't set the other stuff as well. Okay, so here we're actually just passing these edge points. We're not unprojecting them. I will move this down, sure. Collider line, calculate collision line. We could do that logic in here, couldn't we? Here's the begin. Here's the end. That's not what we want. We want... Unprojected begin is equal to camera main world to screen points world position edge begin and do 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 do. <clears throat> and so now I can use this here, because we only need this calculation once. Begin to end. That's correct. But here we don't want world position. We want our unprojected line. Excellent. Did a little bit of refactoring there. Let's see if it still works. Edge three. No. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh boy. Oh boy. So I renamed stuff and I redid this. Calculate collision line. That seems to be a problem. So here's our world position edge. Oh, unprojected center. There we go. Dang it. I need this data here, right? And I don't really want to calculate it twice. So let's go to here and let's do a vector three 
unprojected begin, vector 3, unprojected end. So we'll calculate it once here. We'll pass it to our calculate collision line, and then we'll use it when creating our unprojected center. Zero, one, two. Let's go for edge two. Nice. Okay, we're back in it, boys. Let's go for nothing. Nice. Oh, it's a darn straight line, too. I'd like to see that. Okay. I think this just looks really pretty for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I made it. But, I don't know. Artistic. <laughs> I am not an artist. Let's see. Okay. So where are we at now? We have refactored so that now we still know the world position world position edges. So vector three overlapped edge middle and that will be overlapped that get middle pretty straightforward vector 3 rotate direction And I'm drawing a line from the center of the cube to the middle point. Overwrap ledge, edge middle minus this transform position. Just to make sure, every cube can, no. Cube controller is using selected cube. There we go. So our rotate direction y is 0, and then let's normalize this bad boy, and let's debug. And this is going to be rotating towards... F3. Three floating point values. <clears throat> now all of these rotate toward vectors should be, we should only have four options, right? So if I go up this way, we're rotating in world space, and check it out, if I spin it and go the same way, nice. Now we're rotating in a different direction. So this is still taking camera stuff into effect, negative one, so this should be negative Z. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a little bit weird. Those lines were super off. I guess if you move quickly, the average changes pretty dramatically. Okay, that's fine. How much time we got? Hmm, 25 minutes. Okay. What's the plan, Stan? 
Now we have a direction. Do we just spin it? Rotate selected, axis around in degrees. Selected, rotate, begin, rotate. So axis around. Let's look at this bad boy. Okay. So we are going to need to use the cross product to get Um, but I'm worried because rotate direction and then, oh, camera offset transform dot up. I really wonder why I have this <laughs> this default argument here. Was there any time that I thought that I would be rotating zero degrees? What is that? What a goofy idea. So deciding whether or not this is negative, I think, uh, might be our last our last bit here. And then, oh my gosh, will it work? Backwards. 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 Oh my god. Backwards. <gasps> oh! Always backwards. No matter what. Oh man, that is so nice. I'm going to do a quick math experiment. I believe that I could swap these because the cross product is non-commutative. And so positive 90 would make it rotate the correct way. Nice. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, you're back on point. I can even do it over here, right? I don't have to be sitting on the cube. The lines are going to be drawn from the cube. The test lines, oh, those miss. But the user doesn't have to put their fat finger in front of the playing field. Oh, here's a test. Doon, doon, doon. I have no idea what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I thought so. <clears throat> Not sure how I feel about this. I think it might be cool to allow the user to separate this into three different moves, right? I'll make a note of that. Um, Consider allowing users to rotate multiple times without ending swipe. And this could be done with a a maximum swipe distance that would swipe and clear all previous um, input positions. So like after you've moved 100 pixels, it's just going to calculate um, how far you've swap. <laughs> That's not the past tense of swipe, but I like to think it is.
Holy goodness. Oh boy. Now for the big test. <sighs> oh man. Math is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. I think I want my directional light to be a child of camera. That's correct, right? Oh man, this is killing me. Yeah, much better. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Feels good, man. <clears throat> oh, dang. Hmm. Um, I don't know what to do. I was not expecting to get that so quickly, but we had a darn good plan, right? Um, having this blackboard is such a useful tool. Like, I'm, I'm pretty proud. That's going very, very well. What's next? What do you got for me next? Touch inputs. Um, so I did just reinstall Windows on this machine. So I don't have the Android SDK or the JDK or anything currently installed. So it's going to take me a while to download that and test it all. But I think this is a happy point. Well, let's make a plan for next time. So we got our 2D line collision. We've got our touch input. Like, we've got our camera work. I'm like shocked. Can't believe I took a month off of this project. I needed to get stuff done, but I was definitely a lot of poorly spent time there, shall we say. I have a feeling that my camera can't flip downwards. Is that true? That is true. Let's fix that. And then we'll we'll end it for today. And I think honestly, um, if this works on my phone, it's time to it's time to move on to design. Get some cool cubes in here. Start building levels. No, no, no. That's one step too far. Um, we're probably going to do a sandbox type thing. Probably lots of different sandbox levels where we're testing each type of cube that I want to add. <laughs> And and then we're into production, I guess. One man production team. No, no. I mean, if I'm really going into production, maybe I'll talk to a designer and a UI artist. Hmm. <laughs> Right, let's fix this. What is that? Camera controller. Oh, wait a minute. The best part. You gotta, gotta savor. Savor the best part. Deleting old code. Not quite yet. Um, let's do the flip. Uh, 
negative positive done. Let's make sure it works before we pat ourselves on the back. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, here's another quality of life improvement. No, no, no. Let's go to delete. Where did we used to... I guess we still need WASDA, don't we? If we're testing on... machines... Like, if I'm testing on this laptop, I probably still want WASD. So I don't know if I can delete that code. Maybe I can clean it up a little bit. And that might be something worth doing. Um, maybe once once I feel... Maybe next... Tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know when, but soon I guess I should go through here and do a commenting pass. Because most of this code is sort of settled in by now. It's not going to change too much. Um, I mean, maybe it'll change a lot, but we're not going to look at it again for a long time is really the important point. So... Was it an update? Is that where I did all this? Yeah. Rotate selected. You know what's funny? I believe that I could just replace all of this code with a simulated swipe, right? We just have a direction and a distance. Let's try it. So I want W2, <clears throat> test swipe. And remember, this swipe is in pixel space. Oh, man. OK, this is cool. Reusing code. So let's see. I want to go left and up. So negative 7. 0 0.707, 0 0.707, 0. Distance, 100. What don't you like about that? Oh, hey. <sighs> well, <laughs> the debug there is getting a little bit out of control, but yeah, we are totally just um, simulating this. If selected cube does not equal null. And selected cube dot is rotating equals false. Selected cube what are you are you just a selectable here transform so 
selected rotator. I think that's what we want. Cube rotator. <coughs> On begin rotate on complete. Uh, complete would be and where do we? Aha, uh -huh, begin, rotate. And then in the accessors and mutators, public pool get is rotating. And this is going to be here to do, 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 get just so we don't get all of that crazy spam. Oh, hey. And it's not selected cube, it's selected rotator. Oh, but look at all this cool deletion test swipe. So S is going to be the opposite of W. Test swipped. Nope, test swipe. Um, D is going to be up and to the right. So that'll be positive. And I'm just going to copy pasta this and throw some negative signs in here. Boom! Isn't math just the friggin' coolest? No! <laughs> oh, oh, interesting. Cube rotator. I don't think it ever called end. Complete rotation. I guess we did find something to fill out the time. There's always more to do. Hmm. We never call rotate complete. User dot update. <clears throat> On end ease. This is a unity action. On and ease plus equals rotate complete. What? This is a very nice little bug that's been hiding in here. How has this been working? That, that worries me a lot. <laughs> okay. No. Boop. It's a thing. We've got an action in here. On begin, rotate. So on and ease. Hey. 
handle rotate complete inside of cube core. And that's it. Where do we use you? On rotate complete equals handle rotate complete rotator. Hmm. Okay, so this happens first. So this is null. Hmm. <clears throat> well, um, I think that's it for today. We got a lot done. I'm super excited. A few small bugs to fix. Uh, I'm going to test it on my device, see how that goes. But I will see you all tomorrow, and maybe we'll do a little bit of cleaning and start uh, making a new branch for design time. Have a good day.